Good morning students. Welcome to the class. Today's date is 2nd February 2021. And we are going to do a new chapter from the English grammar which is prepositions. The word preposition is not new to you all because you have already studied about prepositions. So the learning outcomes of today's class are you will be able to recall the definition of preposition Recognize the preposition words and frame sentences using prepositions. That means after the explanation, after the discussion, you will be able to do all these things. Before moving towards the book, let us recall what prepositions are. A preposition is a word used to show a relationship between a noun or pronoun and some other word in the sentence. Now, if you look uh, into the screen, you will see there are some examples, right? For example, the dog is under the bed. So, in this sentence, dog and bed are noun. And the relationship between the dog and the bed has been linked with the word under. So, under is the preposition. We know the dog is there. But where it is, right? Where is the dog? So it can be above the bed, it can be on the bed, it can be near the bed or it can be under the bed. So we have to locate, we have to locate the exact position, right? So that is what we have to show in the sentence, the relationship. Where is the dog? The dog is under the bed, right? So under shows the relationship between dog and bed and both the dog and bed are noun. The next one is the boy ran behind the building. So in this case, the boy and the building both are noun, right? So the uh, behind is showing the relationship between the boy and the building. So we know there is a boy who is running, right? But where he is running? He is running behind the building. Next, the girl took the cat to the vet. So here, two. The preposition two is used. The girl took the cat, right? She has She is taking the cat, but where she is taking to the vet so two is showing the relationship between uh, the girl and the vet okay so this is how the preposition works in a sentence okay so let's move on to the book part now okay so let's uh, open your book and now let's uh, do the warm-up so here we have the next one. Uh, so in this chapter, we will be uh, talking about the preposition in, between, behind, near, on, to, from, into and through. So only we are going to study these prepositions. So here we have some warm up questions. So look at the sentences and underline all the prepositions you can find. So let us check the sentences. The first one, the book is on the table. So where is the book? So we have to find out the relation between the book and the table. So the book is on the table. So in this sentence, the on is the preposition. That means it is on the table. So where is the book? It is on the table. Number two, the children are playing in the park. The children are playing where? In the park, right? So here in is showing the preposition in between the uh, children and the park number three the car rolled down the hill so here down down is showing the relationship between the car and the hill next number four the monkey climbed up the tree up up is also showing the relationship between the monkey and the tree where is the mon monkey climbing the monkey is climbing up the tree so up means going above right so okay so these are the warm-up questions for you now let us read the passage that is given in your uh, book the children are going to the museum the children are going to the museum the children and museum the preposition is used here is to they are sitting in a car so here in is the preposition that is showing the relationship between the children which is uh, symbolized as pronoun they 
and a car. Their uncle is driving the car. Gitu is sitting between Mira and Aditya. So here between is the preposition in this sentence. The museum is near the library. So here near is the preposition. From their house, it takes nearly an hour to reach the museum. So here from is the preposition. Next, the road passes through a forest. Through is the preposition here. On their way, the children see a fox hiding behind a tree. So behind is here a preposition. Seeing the car, the fox runs into the forest. So into is the uh, preposition in this sentence. So we have got many new prepositions here like to, in, near, then um, through, on, into, behind, etc. Now, as we have already known that these are the prepositions, now when they are used, let us turn the page and come to the, ch the chart that is given in your uh, book. So here, if you can see the prepositions in, between, behind, and near, and on. These are five prepositions that shows the position of people, animals, and things. That means where it is, right? So, for example, with on, the book is on the table. Where is the tab uh, Where is the bo uh, book? The book is on the table. So you have to show the location, the position, right? Where is the book? It is on the table. So then the next one is I sit between Reva and Priyanka. So Reva is on the left side and Priyanka is on the right side. But you are sitting in the middle, right? So that will be between. So I sit between Reva and Priyanka. So where are you sitting? You are, That means the question is asking about your position. Where are you sitting? I am sitting between Reva and Priyanka. Next, we are playing in the park. So, we are playing in the park. Where are you playing? We are playing in the park. That means you are inside the park, right? So, we are playing in the park. Farha is hiding behind the tree. So, behind is also showing us the position. Where he, Farha is hiding? She is hiding behind a tree. The table is near the blackboard. Where is the table? The table is near the blackboard. Therefore, all these words in between behind near and on they shows they show us the position of the people animals or things if you come below the another form of prepositions we have got are to from into and through so with this prepositions uh, these prepositions tells us about the direction of movement of things or people, like from where it is coming or where it is going, right? For example, we are going to Chen Chennai. So here, to is used. We are going to, that means we are moving, right? We are moving to Chennai. So we are going to Chennai. It is showing the movement of the people. Next, I am coming from the market. So here, I am coming from the market. So it is showing the relationship between me, that is I, and the market, right? So I am coming from the market, that is the movement, right? Movement of the people. That means I, I am moving from the market, right? That means coming from the market. Next, the water is flowing into the drain. So the direction of the water, the, you can, uh, or else the movement of the water, you can say from... Uh, where the water is flowing, the water is flowing into the drain. Next, the train went through the tunnel. Through the tunnel means it will go inside the tunnel and go out from them, right? From one side it will go inside and from the another side it will just come out, right? So the train went through the tunnel. That is the direction. Clear? So these words like to, from, into and through, they shows or tells us about the direction of movement of things or people. I hope that is clear with you. Prepositions are not very tough, but you have to remember when to, when and where to use them. Now let us come to the uh, exercises from your book. The first one is fill in the blanks, choosing the correct preposition. So the first one is already done for you. The path leads through 
uh, sorry, the path leads the trees towards the river. So on and through are given. So the correct answer is through. The path leads through the trees towards the river. Let us come to the second one. There are three tables dash this room. You can see the picture here. It is inside the room, right? It is, if you say on, it will be top. So it is not top of the room. So there are three tables in the room. So the correct option is in. You can write it down here as in. Next, number three. The keys have fallen down the cupboard and wall. When there are two things, between two things, we always use between, right? So if you look at here, the cupboard and the wall. So what we are going to use? Between. The keys have fallen down between the cupboard and the wall. So this is, these are the answers from 2 and 3. Now if you go to number 4, 5 and 6, these are your homework. You have to do it on your own. Clear? Now let us move towards the next one, exercise number B. Read the sentences, cross out the incorrect prepositions. The first one is already done for you. I was going on or to the market. So here on has been put, a, the cross is put on the on. That means the correct is to. I was going to the market. Q comes between or in P and R in the English alphabet. Now see, again here P and R is mentioned, right? So it will be between and the incorrect is in. So we are going to put a cross over the in and the correct is Q comes between P and R in the English alphabet. Number three, the sun was hiding behind or to the clouds. The correct answer is the sun was, you can see the picture there, the sun was hiding behind the clouds. So we are going to put a cross on two. Number four, the monkey was hanging from or in a branch. In means you have to be inside, right? But the monkey cannot go inside the branch and hang, hang, right? So the monkey was hanging from a branch. So in is, will be cross. Number five. Our school is near or through a big small shopping mall. Through means the school is not inside the shopping mall, right? The school cannot grow, go inside the shopping mall. So it will be near and the incorrect is through. So we are going to put a cross on through. Therefore, our school is near a big shopping mall. Now here we have some questions. So you have to put the answers on your own. Like... Number one is, who lives behind your house? So, Mrs. Sharma lives behind my house. So, in these sentences, when your house is there, when you write the answer, your will become my. Suppose, like for example, I have already mentioned, Mrs. Sharma lives behind my house. Who lives near your house? Mr. and Mrs. Gupta lives near my house. So, your house will become my Okay, so try to do this on your own. Try to attempt it. If you find it difficult, then you can surely ask me for your clearance of the doubts. Now let us move towards the next part, which is you have to frame sentences using these prepositions on your own. If you have any problem, I will give you in the Google Classroom. So try to do that on your own. And the last one is the activity. So here it is very interesting. The map is already given here. It is the ground map of the ground floor of a school. So you have to uh, identify the place by using the prepositions. For example, where is the main office? Can you see the main office? The main office. So you will have to locate first. You, have, you will have to locate it, right? So here we have the main office. So what, where it is? It is near the principal's room. You can see the pink color. It is near the principal's room. So what you are going to write using the preposition. Where is the main office? The main office is near the principal's room. Okay. Next is where is the storeroom? You can, if you can see this is the storeroom. And there is a zim here. And then there is a music room. Okay. So where is the storeroom? The storeroom is between the music room and the gym. So you have to uh, use the prepositions 
to locate these places and write the sentences clear i hope you have understood the prepositions so remember when and where to use the chart is very important try to understand try to read the examples and then try to do the solve the exercises of the grammar book so with this i would like to wrap up my class here thank you